Hi, I'm Dorit from QBooks Consulting. I'm a QuickBooks Certified Pro Advisor, and today I'm going to show you how to customize columns in QuickBooks. When you are in the Customer, Vendor, or Employee Center, you can customize the way you view the list of transactions. I'll show you how to customize the columns in the Customer Center, but this procedure also applies to Vendors and the Employee Centers. If you click on any customer, you should see transactions listed here on the right side. If you don't, click on the arrow here to close or open the customer information window. Right click anywhere on the row with the column headers and click customize columns. A new window pops up giving you the customize columns options. You can add any items from the available columns window here on the left. Just double click on any item or click it once and click add. That item now will be added to the bottom of the chosen column window on the right here. You can also position the columns in any order you'd like to see them on your screen. For example, I like to see the date in the first column. So let's click on date, click move up, and it moves it to the first position in the columns. I like to see the number next, the type, then I like to see memo, so I'm going to move that one up, then account, and amount. You can also remove any items you don't wish to see on your screen by double clicking on it or click on it once and click remove. The due date which we just removed is now on the left in the available columns. Once you are satisfied with your choices click OK. The transactions are now organized in the column order you selected. You can resize a column by moving the mouse over the line at the end of a column until a dark bar with a side arrow appears. Left click on the mouse and hold it while dragging the mouse to the left or right to resize the column. This is especially handy when you cannot see the information in the column and you want to be able to see it. You can sort these transactions by any column such as date, descending or ascending, or invoice number, ascending, or descending. You can also choose which transactions you like to see, like only invoices. But please note that the column order changes with each selected view, so you can customize the columns order for any of them. I hope you found this QuickBooks Quick Tip useful. To get the most out of your QuickBooks software, visit my website at www.qbooksconsulting.ca.